Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be exploring black holes and more specifically we're actually going to find out what would happen if a tremendously massive and very very large black hole passed through our galaxy. What would happen to our galaxy and I guess what would happen to our planet Earth. Welcome to What the Math. <laughs> So first of all, we actually have to choose what kind of a black hole we're, we're going to be using and what kind of a black hole is going to be passing through our galaxy. And for this particular simulation, I decided to go with the most massive you could possibly think of, at least uh, one with a relatively easy name. There's a lot of candidates for uh, some of the most massive black holes out there, and basically most of them are usually located in very, very large galaxies right in the middle of them. For example, uh, um, one of the largest black holes we've discovered is in the middle of the biggest galaxy, I see 1101. Uh, it's approximately 40 billion masses of our sun. There's another very, very large black hole uh, with a mass of about 196 billions of masses of sun uh, located really far away. It's approximately 13 billion light years away from us. But because I've talked about this black hole previously and because this is something that is going to be relatively easy to pronounce, I decided to go with another black hole known as TON618. Now let me show you how big TON618 is. Uh, as I've showed you in one of the previous videos, that particular black hole, if we were to place it somewhere near our solar system, or I guess in this case in the middle of our solar system, would actually cover it entirely. So there is TON618 in comparison to our solar system. So it's basically a tremendously large black hole with a mass of about 63 billion masses of the sun. Obviously, if, we're, if it passed relatively close to our solar system, nothing would survive. But what if instead it passed right through here, our own Milky Way with Sagittarius A star supermassive black hole right there. Its mass is much, much smaller. It's only about 4.3 million masses of the sun. And our actual sun right there in the middle with, I guess, planet Earth orbiting around it. So let's actually place planet Earth somewhere near it, just to make it a little bit more realistic. Although I have a feeling that due to the speed of the simulation, we might actually lose Earth pretty quickly. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I've already lost it just now. Mostly because the game is running at years, uh, thousands of years per second. So basically Earth is not going to be able to stay in an orbit around the sun, unfortunately. So, okay, let's try this. So let's see what would actually happen to our beautiful galaxy if this particular supermassive black hole flew somewhere right here through the middle of our own galaxy. So basically, imagine this is a rogue black hole that is literally just flying through our galaxy, but not just a, any kind of a uh, black hole. This is a rogue supermassive black hole, a type that actually does exist out there, especially when um, a galaxy uses its own supermassive black hole and that particular black hole starts flying around through the universe. And to make this a little bit more realistic, we're going to give it speed of about 2000 kilometers per second because this is actually um, approximate velocity of a typical rogue black hole when moving through the universe in comparison to nearby galaxies. So here is going to be flying right through our Sagittarius A You'll see it's, there we go, you'll see it moving in a few seconds. And its size is approximately 1300 astronomical units in radius, but in comparison to the actual galaxy, it's relatively small, because galaxies are much, much bigger than that. And if, we, if you were to look at this from the side, this is actually kind of what it would look like to this tiny, tiny black hole passing through this tremendously large galaxy. Now, all of this is happening in accelerated time. So here we have about 300,000 years per second. So from the perspective of a human being, you wouldn't even see any difference because things here happen on such a tremendously large time scale that it's not surprising that you wouldn't even notice anything. But for planets and stars, things would be a little bit different. So here it is entering the Milky Way. And because it's in terms of size, not very big. The only thing it will do actually at first is just dis, uh, disrupt many of the planets, many of the stars, 
and throw them out of the um, galactic system. But there's not going to be any collisions. It's very, very unlikely that anything will get absorbed or collided with Ton 618. So basically, it passed through our galaxy without colliding with anything. Mostly because the spaces involved here are very large. But what about the rest of the galaxy? So will actually our galaxy be affected in any way at all? So first of all, look at the sun. Notice how it already changed the trajectory. It was moving this way, and now it's moving 90 degrees toward the center of the galaxy. That's because uh, that rogue black hole right there completely dislodged many of the stars and many of the planets. So now everything is going to be moving in a very different direction. And watch what happens to the galaxy afterwards. So this, this was almost like a bullet flying through our galaxy. Tremendously massive bullet that, first of all, kicks out our own supermassive black hole. So our galaxy now has actually lost its black hole because it dislodged it from the system. And we've noticed that there are many galaxies out there that don't actually have the central black holes. And now we believe this is actually... And now we believe this is exactly how it happens. We believe that a black hole or a galaxy passing through another ga galaxy would usually actually dislodge them in such a way. And what happens to the rest of the galaxy? Well, let's just find out. We're going to accelerate time. And look at that. The entire galaxy literally kind of, sort of, slowly spreads apart and basically disappears. So this creates a tremendous amount of rogue planets, rogue stars, rogue mass in general, and all sorts of materials that now fly around the universe without really having anything to be attached to. Because that supermassive black hole that just passed through our galaxy like a bullet it unofficially destroyed it. Now, technically, nothing was really destroyed. There, there were uh, there was no mass loss. There were no actual collisions. Nothing was in any way collided or absorbed. So this entire mass of the Milky Way is now basically flying completely isolated and um, all by itself. So the whole Milky Way is now a bunch of rogue mass. Now, this is actually very, very interesting because there is a lot of mass out there that is totally missing. We've never been able to explain why so much mass that's supposed to be there is just not there. And this could be one of those explanations. It could be that uh, many galaxies were actually completely destroyed by essentially rogue black holes passing through uh, the actual galaxy and essentially completely eliminating these galaxies. It didn't really take that long either. It only took a few billion years for the actual galaxy to be completely gone. And now, 70 billion years later, there's really nothing left. You can still see the actual chunks of the Milky Way. They're actually still all there. But because they're so far apart from each other, they don't really create anything visual. So you would need to have them much uh, closer together and more concentrated to actually have anything that you could see. And that's really all I wanted to show you in this video. So now you kind of know what will happen if a tremendously massive black hole like Ton 618 here would fly through our own galaxy and what would actually happen to our own galaxy as a result. And what you get is a destroyed galaxy and another rogue black hole Sagittarius A star that might go out there and do the same thing to some other galaxies somewhere far away. So we don't really know how many rogue black holes are out there, but it does kind of make you wonder, what if one day it actually does happen? Would this completely destroy the Milky Way? Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and also potentially support this channel on Patreon and uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. Tomorrow we'll learn something else, something you may have not known before. So do come back tomorrow and watch another video if you enjoy space. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.